As we reported earlier this week, San Diego Unified School District has set a target date of April 12th to get students back to in-person learning. To do that, it's going to require meeting certain criteria, including the vaccination of teachers and staff. And we're joined by Laura Josh, Area Vice President for the Voluntary Employees Benefits Association. Laura, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. So your organization called VIVA for short. For those that may not be familiar, can you give us a brief synopsis of what you're all about? Yes, we are a uh, public nonprofit trust that provides health care and well-being services for public sector employers, including school districts. So in this case of helping the teachers to get their appointments, get vaccinated, you're acting as a facilitator here? Absolutely. We, because there are so many people in phase 1B, tier 1, we're working with the county to help that help prioritize access for the education employees, K-12 education employees, and helping verify their eligibility and connecting them with appointments according to the county guidelines. Gotcha. And how are you able to do that? We have we are working with all of the school sites, um, both public, private, and charter schools across the county to collect their eligibility information. And then we'll have a portal for the employees to log in, verify their eligibility, and then schedule their appointments. Uh, you can visit vivavaccinates.com to sign up for the latest updates, and then employees will be notified by their employer when they're eligible to go in and schedule their individual vaccination appointment. And this is an appeal that you're making to teachers that are part of your organization or use your organization, not just, and, and those outside of it as well. Absolutely. This will be for all educators, K through 12 and community college in the county of San Diego, regardless of whether they currently participate in our trust or not. So you're helping them determine whether or not they're eligible to get the vaccination, but you aren't necessarily determining who will be eligible. Correct. Uh, our goal in conjunction with the county is to get as many educators and support staff vaccinated as quickly as possible. Um, to do that, we will have a shortage, so we're asking people to have patience as we work through the process. The county has set up guidelines on being able to prioritize with the limited vaccines who will have the first appointments, but we will be opening up appointments as fast as possible according to the county guidelines. Now, we understand that the effort here is to prioritize workers that are in school neighborhoods that are most impacted by the virus. Is that directing what you do? Yes, absolutely. So the county has set the guidelines as the fourth quartile schools, according to the Healthy Living Index. So we will be using the county guidelines to determine who will have first access to the system to schedule their appointment. You must be getting lots of calls, lots of questions from teachers out there <laughs> that are anxious to get this vaccine. What are the biggest questions that they have? When can I get my appointment really is, and, and because it is a fluid process in terms of what the vaccine availability looks like, uh, we would encourage everybody to go to vivavaccinates.com. We have an informational mailing list where um, employees can put in their information and we will keep them updated as the eligibility opens up, as appointments open up, um, and as their employers will have additional information. Are you familiar with the timeline at all? One of the biggest questions that we hear at the station is that teachers say, look, it's gonna take eight weeks for this to be fully effective in terms of a vaccination. So how can we have a target date of April 12th to go back to school with the kids? That's really outside of my expertise to comment on. Um, really, our goal through this process is to make sure that we can get as many vaccines to as many members of the education community. And then the decisions to open the districts uh, and schools is really up to both the districts and the collective bargaining units to determine it's outside of our purview. And how is that process going thus far in terms of helping people to understand where, what they need to do and whether or not they're qualified? So we're just starting the process. Chairman Fletcher just announced the partnership yesterday. Uh, we will be opening up to our first appointment on Saturday. Um, and those who are eligible will be notified um, probably in the next 36 hours that they'll be eligible to go in and make their appointment. Laura Josh, she's the area vice president for the Voluntary <laughs> Employees Benefits Association. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you for having me.